climbing is my passion, it's my job, it's my sport, it's been what I've been doing since as long as I can remember. Climbing is my outlet. It brought a lot of structure to my life and it taught me discipline and hard work, dealing with failure and also realizing what it feels like to have success. My name is Sasha D. Julian and I'm a professional climber. My earliest memory of climbing was literally like I was six years old and I just really loved the fact that if I got to the top of the wall, it was up to me. And it felt like a very liberating experience of literally defying gravity and having my body and mind at this intersection where both were operating together simultaneously. I think that preparation dictates success. You have to know what you're getting into, know the control variables of what is under your power to prepare for what you can't necessarily control. And then when you're in it, everything just happens. Risk is not a draw for me because I want to do everything as safely as possible but I like pushing myself. And so I think that that's where this balance is of just knowing the confidence in my gear, the confidence in my climbing partner, and the confidence in my preparation to know that I can handle mitigating whatever risk is in front of me. Climbing is so much about exploration and going places that maybe no one's gone before. And so the element of having a vehicle that's capable of handling a multitude of terrain is empowering. The Polaris Expedition, when I turn it on, I feel the power of it, and I feel capable to go and tackle an adventure. It feels like the perfect exploratory vehicle to get you anywhere. All I've got are these broken memories, this new road. Climbing has been my way to see the world. I love the feeling of exploring a new place, feeling the elements of what that landscape has to offer. And I love exploring my backyard too. I moved to Boulder from New York City because there's so much climbing right in my backyard and I can still have all of these exploratory new experiences minutes from home. When I'm approaching, I'm thinking about the climb, but I'm also kind of distracting my mind with being present and communicating with the people around me. I'm reading and feeling the temperature and the air outside. I'm feeling the ground beneath my feet. I'm pretty tuned in to all of the elements around me. I think what keeps me coming back is curiosity. I am curious about what I'm capable of if I apply myself and I work really hard. In success in climbing, feeling the pressure of what I want to do that's an internal feeling, but balancing it with a sense of calm and ease. And it's almost like in letting go of that pressure is when the magic happens. I'm often, when I'm climbing, telling myself mantras, like just go, or hold on, or you can. All of these mindset tricks that I can play to keep myself in the moment really help me. Convincing my mind that I'm not in pain if I feel like the tips of my fingers bleeding. There's a lot that I'm kind of 
using to control my mental state. So much of my life is full of doing a lot of things at once. And I feel like in climbing, all I'm thinking about is what my sequence is, really thinking about the way to optimize my body's motion on the rock. Climbing to me is just this pure joy. It's like this passionate escape from the everyday chaos. When I'm driving home and I've just done something cool, I feel proud of what my body has accomplished, but I also have a sense of pride in what my mind's gone through. And like that perseverance that I've pushed myself through other times of failure is pretty pervasive in my mind. And like, I think it's just a sense of calm. When I feel the most inner happiness is almost when I feel the most at ease. I guess I'm just constantly going back for that feeling.